There was a really good article talking about Tyler Mott posted onto the Vancouver Sun by Patrick Johnston yesterday. Right now, I kind of wanted to talk about Tyler Mott because Johnston's article over here on the Vancouver Sun really goes into detail just over everything that Mott has been able to do this preseason. And instead of showcasing the entire article here, I will just show you guys the TLDR from Wickedly Awesome in the comment section of this article's posting on the Canucks subreddit. We'll be referring to this as we go throughout this entire discussion about Tyler Mott. And the reason we're actually talking about Mott, and the reason he got an article written about him, is because he's been really, really good for the Canucks. Definitely not at an offensive threat level like Elias Pettersson, because I think it's fair to say that Pettersson has probably been one of the only offensive threats we've had in the past week of Canucks hockey. But Tyler Mott is probably the guy who goes out there and has been the most influential figure in regards to the offensive core for everything not relating to offense. He works really hard in every single shift, and we hear this about a lot of guys. Guys work hard, oh they're good, hard workers, gritty and all that, but Tyler Mott has just been the guy this entire preseason that has stood out amongst the rest. He's been one of the best skaters this entire preseason for the Vancouver Canucks, and I think watching a few of his back checks, his attempts at keeping the puck in the offensive zone, chasing guys right around, chasing guys on the back check in the Vancouver zone, things are really good when Tyler Mott gets it going, and it's highlighted in the article, and of course it's in the TLDR, that's why I pulled it up over here, but Mott has just been so quick on his feet agile, and in all aspects of the word, fast. He's just been such a good skater, and because of that, his penalty-killing performance has been fantastic as well. His ability to just keep his man on, not really get tranquilized by the opportunities presenting himself in front of him by the other team. Mott has just been consistent in his own zone, and honestly, it makes perfect sense here for a guy who could step in in a bottom six role. And I think a lot of fans who are looking at this and listening to me say that are like, yeah, I could honestly see that. He kind of deserves a spot at this point just based on how hard he's worked. Which is great because earlier at the end of last season, the connotation around Mott was, yeah, he's probably going to be in the AHL. He's an AHL guy. AHL with the Blue Jackets, AHL with the Blackhawks, AHL with the Canucks. It just makes sense here. But... I think a lot of us have kind of started to forget that Mott is a young guy. He's 23, so he has a lot of opportunities to grow still. Sure, he doesn't have elite first-liner potential, but he was a player who was genuinely good in college, and a guy who is taking the necessary steps forward into trending upwards into a consistent NHL role. I remember Blackhawks fans saying that they really liked Mott because he worked hard every single shift. Really hard skater, hard on the puck, hard on the guys who had the puck. He was just an overall pest and a guy who made opposing teams easier to play against. But the biggest thing going against Mott right now is the idea that he actually doesn't need waivers to get sent down. In order for him to get wavered, he actually needs to play, I believe it's one more game. If he plays one more regular season game, I believe, he will require waivers the next time we attempt to send him down. So for the ease of asset management, filling out for guys like Erickson, just kidding, he came back, and Antoine Roussel, and potentially some other guys who could get injured, Tyler Mott is the most logical choice when it comes to who should we send down, because he's the safest bet. It's just that if he plays one more game, that entire idea gets thrown out the window and all of a sudden Mott is a guy who needs waivers and who is a guy who will most likely get claimed. Because if he makes the team and starts playing NHL regular season games the way he's been playing it in the preseason, he's gonna get claimed. And I think I have no doubts about that because Mott has honestly been one of the best players on the Canucks this entire preseason. I have a lot of friends who are really high on Mott. The eye test is fantastic when you look at a player like him because he exhibits everything that makes you go, damn, he just made a really good play. Solid effort, man. And I think that's just all we can expect from Tyler Mott. Because 
As I said, he doesn't have that ceiling as a Besser, but he certainly has the tool set to stay in the NHL in a reliable role. And so, is this the season where we're like, yeah, you're gonna fulfill that role now? Or, is this just another season where we're like, yeah, no, it's one more AHL year, and then you could have a chance? Tyler Mott, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plus, you can get the Gaming, and bye. <laughs>